say to the person that did this to my brother, you will never be able to sleep knowing that we are suffering over here and you don't care about human life. Well, new from us at nine, a man hit by a car walking home on Wolfridge Road Friday night in Pritchard left for dead. A good Samaritan saw it happen, pulled over and was with him in his final mm. moments. Now, four days later, the family say they haven't heard a word from Pritchard Police on this investigation. Fox News, Lacey Beasley now joining us live from Pritchard Police. And Lacey, the family reached out to Fox 10 News to draw attention to this. Yeah, that's right, Byron and Lenise. The family is left heartbroken and clueless over what happened to their beloved son and brother, Darius Hill. But one thing is for sure, they want answers. My brother mattered. He didn't bother nobody. Shantavia Hill says her brother, 40-year-old Darius Hill, walked the same route every day along Wolf Ridge Road. Friday night, he was hit and killed by a car in front of this church. Everybody knows him, everybody. And um, he was on his way home Friday night, and someone decided to tear his body apart. Would I stand with him? You left him for dead. You didn't even stay. Well, one good Samaritan did. Not wanting to show her face, the woman says she was driving behind the suspect's vehicle when she saw it jolt. Then all of a sudden, my headlights caught a person on the ground, and it was like, oh my God. So I immediately pulled over, searched for my phone, got out with my phone, dialed 911. And she couldn't believe what she saw. Then she heard breathing. At first, I thought he had, he was dead, I thought. But then all of a sudden, mm, just a light, very delicate moan. And I'm saying, oh my God, he's still alive. She did all she knew to do, pray. That's when I really started talking with him and praying and when Lord's going to touch your body, baby, you're not by yourself. We, you know, just pray. I mean, just have faith. How thankful are you that you were with him and literally his final moments? You know, when I think about that, I, I, I didn't think about it until a friend of mine was telling me, just thank God that you were there. Darius's family now left crushed and desperately needing answers. I just want to say to the person that did this to my brother, you will never be able to sleep knowing that we are suffering over here and you don't care about human life. And the woman you could call a godsend, assuring the family Darius had a hand to hold. He wasn't alone. He's with God. Be thankful that he is with God and somebody prayed with him. Now, it's been four days since the hit and run, and so far, no arrests have been made. Now, the witness tells me the suspect's car was a white mid-sized Chevy that could have some front-end damage. If you know anything, reach out to Pritchard Police. Reporting live from the Pritchard Police Department, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.